Hey, what's up guys? Grimsy42 here, and I kind of wanted to throw a little uh, tutorial slash tip video out for you guys. Um, and basically what it's going to encompass is cleaning up uh, an NES game. Uh, I just recently picked this game up here. I don't know if you can see. It's like Nigel Mansell's World Championship Racing. And uh, not sure if you can tell, but I mean, it's, it's got a lot of dirt up in here. And uh, it's got a label on it. Uh, the actual label itself is kind of dirty. And uh, there's just some, you know, some just some general gunk on the back of it. And uh, I actually picked this up for uh, for Jay of the Game Chasers. Um, I actually already have this one, but uh, I knew it was semi uncommon, and I hit him up, and he said he didn't have it. So it was only five bucks. So I picked it up. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I do at least to clean my games. Uh, I'm gonna set up kind of a little workstation of sorts uh, to give a better camera angle. And I'll just show you what uh, what steps I do to clean a game, and then hopefully that'll help you guys when uh, you know when you clean your games. So here it comes. All right, guys. The uh, first thing I want to show you here are my tools of the trade. Uh, you'll notice I'll uh, show them all one at a time. I've got a a little white artist eraser. Uh, I like to use this uh, brand over the uh, the pink one. So if you can find a white one, uh, that uh, definitely helps. Just some uh, standard cotton Q-tips, uh, some toothpicks, a screwdriver with that 3.8 uh, screw bit, so that will open up the actual uh, the games. If you don't have one of those, I'm going to put a link below to uh, where you can find them. Uh, some Goo Gone. You have to be careful with what you use this on, and uh, be careful not to let it sit too long on the actual game. It will do damage. It's uh, basically a citric acid-based solution. Uh, but that's uh, definitely something I use a lot. Uh, some paper towels, isopropyl alcohol, and then also pledge multi-surface. And then at the end, I will show you uh, one of my favorite tips, uh, one of my favorite tricks. I'll do that as the last step, so I'll kind of save that for the end. But anyways, uh, let's get into how to actually clean it. Okay, guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and remove the, uh, the little security bits there. And, you know, just be careful when you're doing it. You don't want to uh, put too much torque in, either unscrewing or screwing them. You don't want to strip, strip the bits. And uh, you also don't want to over-tighten them and potentially break the plastic. Okay, so once you've got that done, just go ahead and separate. And as you can see, there's definitely a lot of gunk in here, so I'm going to have a uh, fun time cleaning this. And as you can see, the uh, the board itself is uh, very corroded, so hopefully uh, when I'm done, I can get this guy shiny like new. But uh, as you can see, it's definitely pretty dirty there, so wish me luck. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take the uh, board itself and take your artist eraser and kind of just, uh, you know, like you would erasing something off a piece of paper. Just go ahead and clean uh, across the actual contact pins. And uh, I'll uh, fast forward so you don't have to uh, sit through this, but uh, I will show you a before and after. So uh, actually, <laughs> check it out first. This is uh, how nasty it was. And then I'll show you when I'm done. Okay guys, so here's the board, and I'll go ahead and uh, give you a little closer look. You can see the uh, the pins are a lot cleaner. Uh, all that corrosion is off of them. And uh, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my uh, secret weapon, what I use to uh, keep them clean for a lot longer. And uh, I actually picked this tip up off of uh, Chris, aka NES Complex. He made a really good series uh, about collecting video games. Um, and I'll go ahead and I'll link uh, part one to that below so you guys can check his stuff out. But he had some really good tips, and uh, I definitely recommend you check it out. But anyways, I'll show you my secret trick now. So the uh, magic ingredient is just a, uh, a can of WD-40, and uh, this stands for water displacement, and the 40 is the 40th attempt. Uh, he'll go into that more in his video if you check that out. Um, but basically, this uh, basically will keep moisture off of your... Uh, off of your pins and I find that it lasts a very long time much longer than alcohol so I've already uh, taken the liberty to put a little dab on a tip of a paper towel here and you just gently go across the pins 
and you'll notice right away that it shines them very nicely. Um, and I go ahead and I do both sides. And then when you're done, just make sure to uh, wipe any excess off, you know. So just take the dry side of the towel and uh, just, you know, rub all the excess off just so it's not, you know, uh, an, an insane amount. You definitely want to uh, kind of polish it afterwards. But uh, I don't know if you guys can tell already from the uh, camera, but they are now very, very nice and shiny. And uh, definitely an awesome finish. And this will definitely play, so. Okay, guys, looking at the inside here, it's uh, it's pretty dang dirty. So I'm going to go ahead and do a few things. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is incorporate my, uh, my little buddies here, these cotton swabs. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, pledge here. And I use the antibacterial uh, just because who knows what's in these. But as you can see, uh, it's right there. It actually shows that it's safe for electronics. So um, it's one of the uh, cleaning products I definitely like to use. So I'm going to go ahead and saturate uh, the cotton swab with some of that and uh, give it a little scrubbing, and we'll see how I do. Another thing, if you'll notice as I'm cleaning it, but uh, right here in these little crevices, that's uh, very difficult to get to. So I'm going to go ahead and use this toothpick here to uh, scrub those. So as you can see, guys, that cleaned up pretty well. There really was no issue, um, and that's usually the case. It's very rare that an NES cartridge is so dirty that there's nothing you can do. You can always make some vast improvements. And uh, next we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about the other side here. So the first thing I'm going to do is tackle this label. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this off. And uh, these labels aren't notorious, but sometimes you'll find labels that absolutely do not want to come off. And I like to just carefully pull them off like so. And, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of residue. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but uh, it's definitely there. If you can hear that noise. So I'm going to take care of that first. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, set that there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of Goo Gone and I'm going to dab it onto the uh, cotton swab. And just make sure when you're done that you uh, clean it off. Again, it is a citric-based acid and it will eventually uh, erode a lot of things. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, kind of scrub in. I actually put a little bit too much, but that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and scrub right where that glue is. Try to avoid the label. And what this will actually do is it will eat the glue right up and it will take it right off. Yeah, that's gone. Okay, and then basically what I do next is I just take a paper towel and I use that uh, antibacterial pledge I talked about that I actually just dropped. Spray the paper towel and uh, just give it a quick wipe over and it comes right off. And then just take a dry end and, uh, you know, make sure any residual is off and as you can see, I mean, just by the shine, that definitely is a, a lot cleaner. And I actually haven't even cleaned the cart yet. I just wanted to get that glue off. So next I'm going to show you how I do that. First thing I'm going to do is get into these little crevices here. As you can see, there's definitely a lot of dirt. So the tip of this has been sprayed with that, uh, that pledge clean. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get in there and just get each crack and make sure that I get all the dirt and gunk out of it. I like to do this before cleaning the overall cart just because uh, if you get all this dirt out of here it won't spread around onto the cartridge. Alright guys, so I've gone ahead and taken the time to do that and as you can see it's obviously a lot cleaner and uh, now what I'm going to do is kind of the final once over of this cartridge. So just to get this specific section clean what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a uh, a section of paper towel and I really uh, I like these smaller sections I like uh, you know that you don't waste as much when you're cleaning but I'll go ahead and I'll fold it in half kinda you know so it's about the size of the cartridge and then I'll go ahead and I'll spray it with the uh, the pledge and I just give it you know a quick once over I go over the cartridge everywhere and uh, I try not to spend a lot of time on the label until the end because you definitely don't want moisture to sit on the label so I kind of just scrub in between these again, make sure it's all clean up here, get the top of the label quick, and then just go ahead and go over the label really fast. You know, the label will hold off, um, 
you know, it's just not recommended that you spend a lot of time and you're very careful. But uh, make sure you get everything off and then the other side is dry, so I'll go ahead and dry that off. And then just dry the rest of it. Like so. And as you can see, it's definitely, uh, definitely a lot cleaner. The label has a nice shine to it. And the uh, cartridge is no longer stained or anything. Now I'm going to go ahead and tackle the uh, other side of it. Okay, guys. So getting into the back here, there's two things I want to take care of. So first is this, uh, I don't know if it looks like sticker residue or just a bunch of gunk and dirt. And then obviously, if you can see, there's a lot of discoloring on the actual label here. So I'm going to take care of those two things. So the first thing I'm going to do is take that uh, cotton swab that had the goo gone and just go to work on that little, uh, that little spot right there. And it should pretty much clean up without a lot of effort. And it looks like, for the most part, it did really quickly. So that wasn't too much of a, a hassle there. And there's a little more down here I'll take care of quick. And then just take one of those... Uh, paper towels that had the pledge on it. Go ahead and wipe over it quick. If you notice, it's gone. So now to take care of this, I'm going to have to do something else. I'm going to be really careful with it, and I'm going to try to be quick. So the first thing I want to do is just take uh, one of those paper towels that had the, uh, the pledge on it, and just go over the label quick. These back labels are pretty resistant to... Uh, any kind of, uh, you know, moisture, as long as you're quick about it. Then I'm going to take that uh, cotton swab that had the goo gone on it and just very quickly go over the label and kind of try to watch what you're doing and make sure that uh, you're not staying in any one section too long because it will eventually uh, try to lift the glue from the back of it and everything. But it doesn't look like this one's going to be perfect when it's done, but it's definitely going to be a lot cleaner than it was. So, unfortunately, the discoloration just doesn't want to come off. Um, it just probably is stained over the years, and there's really nothing you can do about that, you know, once it's in the paper. But, as you can tell, the cartridge is a lot cleaner. Okay, guys, and then the last step here, you're going to want to take the uh, front of the cartridge. And go ahead and set it down, just like that. And then take the actual board and uh, make sure all the, uh, all the little chips here are facing down also. And then just go ahead and carefully set it back into position where it goes. And then you're going to want to take the, uh, the back section here. And there's these little lips up here. So you want to kind of feed those in. And the cartridge will just fall back into place. Then you just want to take your three uh, screws or five in the case of a five screw game. And just set them back in there. And like I said, just be very careful when tightening. Uh, you don't want to go too far. Because you'll actually break the cartridge. So just gently give them a little bit of turning, and uh, I like to go just snug. You know, you don't really want to torque it. It's definitely uh, something you want to use finesse with. You don't want to go overboard. And a good a good rule of thumb when you're all done, just to know that you got them at least tight enough, is you just you know pick the card up and kind of give it a feel and see if everything's like snug back in there and not rattling around. Okay, so there's really no uh, separation there. So there you have it, guys. Once again, fully assembled and now ready to go to my buddy. So hopefully he appreciates the extra work I put in to make this uh, look a lot better than it did. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. So in closing, I uh, just wanted to give you another quick look. The cartridge is actually uh, pretty clean now. Uh, you can see reflective glare pretty much everywhere. And uh, it's definitely a lot cleaner on the inside. And I'm definitely very confident that this will play now. Um, and I wasn't before. It was, uh, it was pretty roughed up. So hopefully uh, Jay appreciates it. I'm sure he won't knowing Jay. But um, anyways, uh, definitely, like I said, check out NES Complex's videos. Uh, I will link uh, below his series on collecting, which I learned a lot from. It was actually one of the first videos that I watched on YouTube. So it definitely motivated me to uh, make videos of my own. And also, uh, Jay actually has his own channel, if you guys weren't aware. It's uh, the Shady Jay Show, I think he calls it. Um, and I'll go ahead and I'll link that below also. But uh, if you guys have any uh, tips that you'd like to share, 
Uh, leave them in the comment section below. If there's anything you guys do differently when cleaning your cartridges, please feel free to share. That way, you know, everybody can benefit from what you've learned. And uh, guys, I appreciate you watching this. If you like the video, please thumbs it up and take care.